we are the voice. There has to be a voice in the midst of the chaos so people can understand someone out there is, is, is advocating or saying something to alleviate or minimize the extensiveness of the pain and the confusion that is, is felt across this country. You know, most of you guys know me, I talk about police brutality against blacks. I talk about white cops killing blacks every single day across this country. We see racism, we see the N-word being used across this country, like it's the norm. You know, and we seen uh, immigration, uh, people trying to transition from, from places. We seen a whole bunch of stuff going on in the spin of the times that we are in. We can't sleep. You know, we gotta stay woke. That's the, uh, that's the thing I always stress every day. We gotta stay woke. We can't sleep. There is no time and frame and period that we can sleep. You know, and when I say we can't sleep, I'm just saying that we gotta be insightful. We gotta be very knowledgeable. We gotta be very sensitive and very alert to what's going on every day in the world of times we're in. You know, you can focus on, well, because I'm black. You can focus on because I'm white. You can focus on because I'm Chinese. You can focus on because I'm Mexican. You know, in the times where in the occurrence or events is affecting everyone. Like I would say, one race extensively in this country, which is black race, and the more marginalized race in America. And one of the reasons why they are the more marginalized race in America is because police or white cops don't think that black lives matter. And that's the situation that, that draws my attention. But when you have white officers focused to kill one race of people, that's the problem. That's the problem. And that's the reason why my my heart towards white officers is very, 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 very decreditional because of the intent of focus of effect on one race of people. You know, in schools, in schools, our kids getting shot in schools. They're not just shooting black kids in school. They're shooting every race of kids in school. And you go to the grocery store, the grocery stores. Every race is getting attacked in the grocery stores. I just focus on white officer more because they focus on killing black people specifically than any other race of people in this country. And that's the reason why I don't take my focus on white officers because they don't take the focus on black people. Every race is being victimized in this country. Every race. Every race, we all scared. Every race is scared, you know what I mean? But I don't understand how one race in this country is being penalized by white officer than any other race of people. We all want, regardless of what breed, what breed, what nationality, what background, what organization, or what structure, or what upbringing, we all want. And that's the thing that white officers understand that. We all want. And and the fact that they don't understand that makes it very complex for other race of people to understand other race of people because our police in this country have drawn a line and drawn a line between every race of people. This is Mexican. It's the black people. It's the white people. It's Jewish people. It's Indian. It's Somalis and so forth. Who cares about the separation? We don't care about that. We are human beings. We all must be treated at an equilibrium of every other race. What make, an, make another race better than another race? Why are we drawing lines? And that's the thing that I don't comprehend. And that's the reason why we're trying to, to skeptic, skepticize certainty very, very precisely that I've drawn and created. I felt like it would enhance some level of understanding for you guys who follow me on social media. But I will always say again, our problem in this country is not because we don't get along with one another. It's because the white officers or white police don't want to understand that other race in this country, regardless of their status in this country, lives matter. I love you guys and God bless.